Many will remember the legendary Kenworth 963 by its nickname, the Desert King. But it hasn't been the only truck to venture into inhospitable territories in search of oil. Just as there have been kings, there have also been giants. And the Burley at T100 earned this nickname after its presentation, thanks to its dimensions that made any vehicle next to it look like a mere model. Stay with us to get to know one of the most legendary trucks born to conquer the desert. Berlier was one of the world's most prominent truck manufacturers, and its automotive developments and advancements represented a significant contribution to the motorization of France, both in the private and commercial sectors. Although records of its activities date back to 1899, the company saw its heyday in 1900 when it began to expand and establish automotive plants in Lyon, France. By 1912, they already had a range of vehicles with four and six cylinders, which achieved power outputs ranging from 8 to 60 horsepower. Born during the peak of oil exploration in the Sahara Desert, the Berlier T100 was a true engineering feat achieved by the French company. The French government placed its bet on this project with the aim of finding new oil reserves in the territory that is now Algeria. Developed during the well-known Black Gold Rush of the 1950s, this truck was unveiled at the 1957 Paris Motor Show before venturing into the desert, earning its distinctive nickname due to its impressive dimensions of 15.3 meters in length, 4.5 meters in height, and almost 5 meters in width. Its production was in response to the French government's request to build a truck capable of overcoming all kinds of obstacles and sand dunes while carrying a considerable amount of weight. With no adequate road infrastructure in place and the impracticality of constructing one, the best solution was this megatruck concept designed for transporting materials and machinery with weights around 70 tons. Its power came from an impressive 29.6-liter Cummins V12 engine, capable of generating 700 horsepower, allowing it to reach maximum speeds of up to 60 kilometers per hour. In order to achieve better autonomy, it was equipped with two 950-liter fuel tanks. Meanwhile, its tires were supplied by Michelin, measuring 2.2 meters in diameter, and each one weighing close to one ton. Due to its height, a literal ladder was required, providing access to the interior cabin with space for five people and special insulation against dust. To transmit power, this truck featured three driven axles, giving it a 6x6 chassis configuration. It also had a 4-speed forward and 4-speed reverse Clark gearbox, which astonishingly weighed 2.5 tons on its own. Additionally, it incorporated an auxiliary Panhard GM15 engine, which was responsible for the hydraulic steering and brake system in case of failure, as well as for transporting the truck to a repair location in emergency situations, given the unpredictability of the desert. Surprisingly, its development and construction took only nine months, from January to October of 1957, with only three units produced for heavy-duty work. The first model produced, equipped with a closed-sided platform, was unveiled at the Paris Motor Show and also embarked on a promotional tour before being sent to the desert in 1960. The second unit was dispatched in advance to work in the oil fields, arriving in Wargla in late 1958, featuring an open platform for transporting challenging cargo. Meanwhile, the third unit was equipped with a dump truck bed, capable of carrying 80 tons, and remained in France to serve at the Atomic Energy Center in the town of benines sur gartamp presumably assisting in uranium extraction. Although it's not known with certainty, there is a trace that it remained in service until 1964, then went on to work on a highway construction project before finally reaching the end of its operational life and being returned to Berlier. A fourth unit was constructed, but it served a special purpose. It was a truck with a cab over engine design intended for a tour in the United States to seek potential customers. 
This unit also served as a test model for Berlier, serving as the foundation for experimenting with the implementation of a 1,000 horsepower helicopter turbine as a propulsion method. However, the project came to an abrupt end. After the war fought between France and Algeria, which resulted in Algeria gaining independence in 1962, the oil explorations in the Sahara came to a halt, rendering the supertruck project obsolete. Consequently, the T-100 program was definitively cancelled in 1964, with only the four aforementioned units being produced. Out of these four units, both the American model and T-100 No. 3 ended up in Berlier's warehouses and were later dismantled, using their parts as potential replacements. The first T-100 built, presented in Paris, surprisingly still remains in Africa, but unfortunately, it is abandoned and severely deteriorated, awaiting the passage of time and harsh weather conditions to turn it into nothing more than a memory. However, the second truck manufactured had a better fate. After fulfilling its intended service life, this unit was repatriated to France in 1981 and subsequently restored by the Marius Berlier Foundation in Lyon, France, making it one of the most unique and eye-catching pieces of automotive history. Additionally, the T-100 project served as the basis for multiple variants with lower capacities, becoming a kind of younger siblings to these iconic trucks. Interestingly, a few years later, the Berlier company went from private ownership to becoming part of the Citroën company, which in turn led to its integration into the Renault brand in 1978, becoming one of the fundamental pillars of what this popular French brand is today. Sadly, the brand name behind these iconic trucks nicknamed Desert Giants began to gradually disappear until its complete extinction in 1980 becoming a landmark in automotive history. Before you go, we'd like to recommend our channel, Gear Unlimited. You'll find excellent content on various topics that we're sure you'll enjoy. Thank you for joining our community. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, like, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.